Hi, everyone. So who are we? So Target Integration was established in 2008 with the mission that every business should be able to leverage the full power of their business insights. So we have offices in Ireland, United Kingdom, three in India, um, and recently the United States. And we also have a development center in Greece in Thessaloniki. So target integration provide a perfect mix of quality and value. So we basically do implementations, we do integrations for our clients, we do migrations, um, and we just like to, you know, match the best solution with the client's, um, you know, business issues, uh, essentially. So clients come with us, um, cli clients come to us uh, looking for solutions. And even if we can't find the perfect one from them on our side, we will make sure to give an educated um, opinion um, based on what they have given us. Autoresponders are the solutions to send automated replies and follow-up emails to the prospects and customers. Once you receive a response from the lead or contact, you have to manually exclude the contacts from the mailing list. This feature is only available for the leads and contacts module. So you can set up a maximum of three autoresponders and a maximum of five follows per autoresponder. You can send autoresponder emails as part of mass emailing too and the number of mass emails that can be sent out per day per organization will vary according to your subscription. So just check that with Zoho. So we have custom and dynamic type autoresponders. Custom view selected for the autoresponder must contain new data. If you select a custom view in which data is not new, the autoresponder will send the first email to the same old data during subsequent iterations. While setting up dynamic autoresponders, always select the custom views according to the options in the recurrence pattern section. If you set the recurrence pattern as by day, make sure your data in the selected custom view is new every day. While executing the autoresponders, the system will not be able to identify duplicates within the record. So you are recommended to check for duplicate contacts and merge with the primary record before setting up the autoresponder. And you can use an unsubscribe form in the autoresponder email template. So by using an unsubscribe form, you allow the recipient to opt out for your next follow-up and avoid anti-spam complaints. So let's look at how to set up an autoresponder. Let's now have a look at how to set up an autoresponder. Like I mentioned previously, autoresponders are only associated with the leads and contacts module within Zoho CRM. So let's click on the leads module. We're now in the leads module. We can see the interface. We're gonna go to the right-hand side of the page and click more options, which is these three horizontal dots. I'm gonna go into the dropdown and we see autoresponders there. We're gonna create an autoresponder by clicking this button, but if you wanted to create a folder, you'll be able to click this button here. Folders allow for more organization of your autoresponder. So we're just gonna fill out the detail and you can see the module that it's associated with. It's assigned to Cynthia. Um, the custom view allows you to select the list of recipients for the autoresponder, so if you had created a created a custom view previously, you were to click this drop down list and associate it with the autoresponder. So I'm just gonna leave out all leads. Uh, you can select a folder if you had created folders. And here we have the type, which is static or dynamic. I'm gonna leave it at static and I'm gonna also add a follow-up. Um, like I mentioned previously, there are five follows per autoresponder. So I'm just gonna click save. And here we are, we have our autoresponder created.